how we're all built from the same blueprint, how we're all built from the same creatures. Um, so I would say my art is spiritual, not political. <laughs> painting. I first off started in a bachelor in, in fine art but with um, a specialization in, in actually fashion and design and then during the course I realized um, the pattern making and the physical garments didn't really uh, uh, fill my needs as if I wanted to so I specialized in textiles and in innovation and I really enjoyed uh, knitting, embroidering, uh, weaving mm. Later I started working with denim, so I really enjoyed the natural indigo, so the plant and the, the blue extract that you get of it and how you can go from one shade of indigo and can create so many different shades of blue. Blue is still a huge part in my paintings nowadays um, and I, I choose to be a, I would say, a hybrid between different disciplines. So. I think uh, uh, making the art it always came, came natural to me. So as I said, I always expressed through um, shapes, forms, textures. Then later, I, I just realized I really enjoyed going to mosques and uh, look at all the mosaic and the patterns. And that's how I first came in, in touch with sacred geometry. And I think the, the practice of my art is really two contrasting worlds. So on the other hand, on one hand, I really use sacred geometry. I use the flower of life, very geometrical uh, shapes, but the expression of itself is very organic. So these two worlds really um, you know, blend, blend in. But the, the thing is, I really want to work with the flower of life because I think um, it's a central place in my work because it, 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 it embodies everything that runs through living creatures that were all built from the same blueprint, we're all built, we're all the same creatures. And I think the thing for me is um, I want to express this in, in, a, in different disciplines and I want people to, regardless of the place where, where they see it, in the physical place or the place how it reached them, uh, feel a, a form of connection and it creates a dialogue and some recognition. It gives me a lot of satisfaction and also it makes me at ease that um, it's a way to to everything that everything that I sense all the the, the things that surround me it's a lot nowadays right but I can fit I can release it by painting and I do notice that days when I'm my head is full and I, I can't put it to words and I paint my paintings look different than yeah. days where I'm I'm happy and lightweighted. So I think that's amazing that you, and that's why I put the songs on the back of my painting. I just, it's influence, right? It's influence for sure. And I just envision when someone buys my painting and it's being shipped to them, because obviously I cannot always deliver the painting myself, that people hang it and then they open the box, they look at the back and it says, oh, she listened to Diana Ross while painting this song. And I wish that people put that song on while they hang it in their living room and that they envision me painting it just like I envision them hanging it while we're both listening to the same song. Sometimes all I talk about is my, my blue circles to my friends, to my family when I come home. But it's just because it's a huge part of my life and when I talked to you I you know when you looked at that painting and said I see an afro head I love that no one ever told me that right and that's the whole thing about creating art I want people to come over and tell me what they see and and how it makes them feel and I think I you have small cha chapters in your head or rooms in your head and then you all take it and when I paint next time I'll think about what you said you know? 